So it's time to stop him permanently. Um, let's hope 2014 will, the, will be the end of Swiss Nazism. But um, they won't change um, automatically or by themselves or by a sort of a consciousness, you know, because they don't have any. And um, yeah, so I hope the US will do something. 2014. So t the end of 2013 uh, was the end of the Swiss Nazi banks and the banking secrecy. Well let's hope 2014 will be the end uh, of the Swiss Nazis and uh, the Swiss Nazi people. Um, so there's this uh, referendum coming up in February. Uh, so Please, Obama, don't stop there and continue. So today this came into the letterbox of the, um, by the, uh, the Swiss People's Party. It's all about immigration, about foreigners, how foreigners are so bad and everything. Um, I missed to understand this picture here really. Uh, this poor apple tree is being uh, pictured as some sort of an alien being eating up Switzerland. I mean, they probably got too many uh, complaints about them using uh, foreigners and people of other races as all sort of animals. So now they use the, this poor tree to attack Switzerland. The, the Swiss are real paranoid, you know. They're so afraid of losing their identity or something. I mean, this is only a paranoid people who's uh, who's afraid of losing its identity. You know, that's that's one of the key things of being paranoid. And they all sleep like with a, an assault rifle under their under their pillow. You know, here in Switzerland, they all have guns and assault rifles, but they're too much of a coward to use them anyway. They let the, uh, like in the Second World War, they let the Germans do it. So this uh, Swiss Nazi propaganda is coming in every letterbox of about 4 million households. It's only about how bad the foreigners are and they are they're about like guilty of everything, you know. Uh, showing these poor people here and I, well I'm probably one of them. And um, apparently, it was in the media, this cost them about one million dollars, or one million francs. I think it's about the same. And, um, well, this is probably US taxpayers' money. Yeah. Or, or, I mean, uh, the ones who were supposed to pay the taxes, but didn't. Yeah. So... It's all about how bad the immigrants are and they are guilty of all their Swiss problems. Well, they don't have any problems. It's, it's the richest country in the world. Yeah. There's some more of it here. Like, uh, you know. So you can all check it out if you read German. Oh well, this is bad here. So, um, I, I would like to have some like Turkish neighbors and, and Muslim neighbors and Asian neighbors and, and Jewish neighbors. So at least I would have somebody to talk to here. And maybe they would have more they would lose more time to concentrate on others and leave my family alone. And, uh, yeah, I think it's great, you know. I, you know, you can, ex with having foreigners, you know, and all these different foods you can try out. And, and, and isn't that great, you know, and exchange thoughts with other people, you know. And I'm, I'm stuck here in this Nazi village here with only Swiss around. Who we'll call up the police a minute. I put my foot out of the door. Even it says here, even the, um, the traffic jams are because of the immigrants. Because there are too many immigrants. 
<laughs> the immigrants are here too. The, 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 the trains are filled up because of immigrants. They're guilty of everything here. And uh, the Swiss, it says the, 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 the Swiss culture and the, uh, there's too many buildings also because of immigrants. The immigrants are guilty of everything here. But they don't talk about a, wo a word about the Swiss banks here, you know, and, and how they steal money and how they finance Adolf Hitler and how they don't integrate like in the US as President Hoover and the other gay Hoover, Ed Edgar Gay Hoover. You know, they don't talk a word about Adolf Hitler and what the Swissies did and still do. And here they say all crime is being done by immigrants. Here are the statistics. Well, I'm one of these, uh, I'm one of the statistics. They just grab you and lie some things together and put you away. All my life, I kept myself away from crime and criminals, but now I'm part of the statistics. Yeah. So they can uh, manipulate um, the politics and the statistics, that's why they do it. Well, nice, isn't it? Lovely. But I think they will fall. Just as the banking secret is gone now, these Nazis, they will fall. Because in 2014, uh, on February the 9th, they're going to vote again. And they have to choose if they want to continue doing business with the EU or if they... Um, and, and, and have people come into the country, people of the EU, or if they want to get like poverty coming up and no other races and other people. And I know how sly they are. They just think by themselves, well, we do what the EU wants and then we're going to solve it our way and we don't going to say a word. We're just going to... We're going to terrorize all these immigrants out of Switzerland with, the, with our Nazi Justice Department and using uh, our Swiss Nazi police to terrorize them out of Switzerland and just um, lie something together so we can put them in prison. This is what they do. Look at the poor tree. I don't get it. Anyway, you know, why, and, uh, why are they using an apple tree? They leave the apples rot under the tree anyway, you know, because it's cheaper through the EU to import oranges from Spain or bananas from, uh, from Africa. You know, the Swiss eat bananas, but they don't want the, uh, the Africans coming in here. But they like bananas, you see. This is Swiss hypocrisy. And they, uh, they all eat kebab. They all tried it. They know what it is. But they don't like any Muslims or kebab sellers. Even the Nazis, they eat kebabs and eat bananas in Switzerland. So this is me. I'm part of the criminal statistics here in this rotten Nazi country here. And on Tuesday, December the 17th, 2013, just before Christmas, at 1600 hours and 30 minutes, uh, I had the police, they came here again. And... Um, they just forced themselves into the house. I was with my two-year-old girl alone. My boy, 11-year-old boy, he was sick. Uh, there was nothing I could do. And they said, well, we have to come in now, and otherwise we're going to take you to the police station. At the end, I had four of them in, in the house, because I'm not coming out anymore. So they forced themselves, they come and visit me and force themselves into the house. Yeah, nice. There was nothing I can do. I mean, would the Swiss have an immigrant into their house, you know, like? No? I don't want them here, but there's nothing I can do. So they know they provoke me, and um, so they can try me again if they would. 
but uh, and with all the threats and the murder threats, you know, it's, it's, I, I don't want to get, have them in here. I'm not forsake, you know, I'm, I'm not coming out of the house anymore. Instead, when I go to France sometimes, so they come here. So that was on Tuesday, December the 17th, and I couldn't even videotape them because they know I'm videotaping, so they were prepared. And like the, the last time in 2011, I know they would have gone, they would have gotten aggressive and taken my camera and erased it. So I had two guys with guns, you know, inside. And there's nothing I can do, nothing. Yeah. So this is the Swiss table water. Yeah. Well, we all see the, uh, the Templar symbol, the V of the Templars here. Yeah. And the, uh, the Swiss cross. Well, do you think, you know, they don't know what they're, what they're doing here? You really think so? They just put the V there, just like that? No way they do. It's that V for victory. Well, I feel this is the end of the Swiss Nazis with the banking secret gone. And um, this is the end. 2014. Uh, and I hope the EU this time will make true what they, uh, what they threaten Switzerland to do. But maybe they probably won't because they've been talking about this for years or 10 years to do something. It's, it's really, it's only the US of A, the IRS and the NSA who are doing something. And it needs the NSA, you know, to stick, to, to look inside the, uh, the invisible banking crimes. There's no other way. The NSA, it's, don't be afraid, the NSA is not looking into our, our privacy lives. And, uh, you know, they're looking into the invisible crimes of Switzerland. That's what they're doing and it needs them. There's, there's no other way to get around it. So in 2014, uh, it will need a, uh, a military invasion. So I hope the US will do this. So after they crush the Swiss banks, it's time to get back what belongs to other peoples. And uh, yes, they are silent. They've got the laws of silence here. There's nothing comes out here. Nothing. It's time to do some digging here and get back what belongs to the world. What this uh, highly criminal organization stole together over, over the centuries.